Hey there, it's Mark from Third Shot Sports along with Cecily. It's 2021 and you probably know that there's some new serving rules that they're trying out provisionally. And one of them is that you don't have to hit the ball out of the air when you're serving. In fact, you can let the ball bounce before you hit it. What you might also know is that there's a guy named Tyson McGuffin. You know Tyson McGuffin? Well, he's a really big server. He likes to hit the ball really hard. Mm -hmm. So do you think we should take a look at Tyson trying out the new drop serve for the very first time? Let's do it. All right, here we go. This is Tyson McGuffin, first time hitting drop serves. You'll see right off the bat, he forgets about one of the rules. He doesn't quite know this rule yet. You're not allowed to toss the ball up in the air. But you can see he's just sort of figuring out the timing here. Here he gets corrected. He's like, oh, right, got to drop the ball. No problem. So it makes a little adaptation. And there you go. You'll notice here he's using an open stance, which is not the kind of stance he uses when he hits a traditional serve. Usually he plays that ball with more of a neutral stance or a closed stance. But this video, one of the things I really like about it is how it really sort of shows him figuring this out. Figuring it out as he goes, just like many of you at home will be as you're trying the drop serve. Let's take a look at the forehand slice. And one of the rules, of course, is if you're playing the drop serve, there's no limitation on the paddle swing path that you use. So you can have a high to low swing path, which you couldn't with a traditional serve. And so. You're gonna see players using backspin a lot more. These slices almost always have some side spin to them as well. My guess is that this would be primarily used as like a change up serve. It's not gonna blow anyone off the court the way many of the other serves will, but it's gonna be able to change up and float a little bit longer. And of course, if you're playing somewhere on a surface and you can get like some good skid, that could be advantage too. Let's go back to the left side of the court now, driving those forehand serves. See, he's pretty happy with what he's got here. Able to really generate some speed. Again, less with the legs, a little more with the rotation of the hips. You see his left leg come off the ground there. That's a result of that rotation, that little left foot lifting as he hits. Every once in a while, you're gonna make a mistake accidentally do the toss instead of just dropping the ball. It's to be expected. Again, Tyson's figuring this out the way you at home might be figuring out how you might play this drop serve. So it's interesting here, you're gonna see a few times throughout this video he talks about the timing figuring out when to start the swing relative to the drop of the ball or relative to the bounce. And Tyson seems to like it here to get that ball as it's still coming up. Here's one of my favorite parts of this video. Suggested to him he dropped the ball from a bit higher. Look at that. Nails it right off the crossbar, bottom of the net. All right, a few more serves. This is really what we would call an inside out forehand serve. Let's take a look at the backhand, still from that left side of the court. And you'll see here Tyson struggles a little bit with the timing. Kind of figure out how you position yourselves. You gotta be able to get that arm out of the way to be able to have the back swing. Tyson's got a great one-handed backhand. Can hit this ball well, though I don't really imagine him using this. Why well, would use the top spin backhand when you could just hit a good forehand with top spin? The slice, perhaps. Again, that sort of change up, maybe get that skidding action. There will be a little bit of side spin. But you're gonna see here, he doesn't stick to that slice very long. He's gonna go back and start hitting some more forehands. So 
So Tyson figures out here that it's as the ball's rising that he wants to hit that ball. It's got a little bit more kinetic energy if it's still moving rather than when it gets to its peak. The peak, of course, gives you the advantage of having a higher impact point so you can flatten it out. But if what you're looking for is speed, which is typically what Tyson's looking for, having that ball still moving a little bit when he hits it becomes an advantage. You'll notice he's not dropping the ball from as high as he could. It'll be interesting to see if over time that seems to change. All right, so wasn't that cool seeing the brand new serve, the drop serve by Tyson McGuffin? Thanks to our very good friends over at Selkirk Sport. They make all of this possible. And uh, do you notice the paddle that Tyson was playing with there? Bit of a surprise, I guess. Anyway, Cecily, uh, you want to say goodbye?